So let's let's get real here for a minute, uh, Ted Bundy. Bundy with two ends. I'm not sure if that if that came through on the podcast. I wanted to talk about SNL, specifically their second new episode this season. It featured uh, Wonder Woman Gail Godot. Okay. And uh, the first episode, it, it, I don't even remember who hosted it, but I didn't like the first episode. The writing wasn't that great. It wasn't that funny. I mean, they had uh, they had the Donald Trump, and they you know they did a bunch of politics, but I just didn't think it was that funny. Yeah. The second episode had better writing than the first episode, so it was it was a funnier episode. Pete Davidson did this skit where he talked about how he was recently diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, which is a form of depression. And he talked about depression. He started very seriously about depression and what you can do with depression, like eating healthier actually does help you. And you should talk to your doctor and the doctor can get you some medication or 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 another thing that helps is that maybe if you're a member of a late night uh, comedy show, maybe it might help your depression if they used your sketches more. <laughs> and he, he, it was really, it was really, it was really adorable. And then, and then, uh, Bella, did you have your ring on? And then I did you, and then did you rub his face really hard? I rubbed his face because he licked me. Dude, you're get, you're scarring your brother. You're scarring your brother's face. Don't rub his face really hard if you're wearing Nana's ring, okay? Jesus, what are you, a supervillain? Jesus Christ, Maxwell has a dueling scar now. Maxwell, we're going to have to get you an eye patch and a cigar. Now can you get off of him, Bella? What the hell? Seriously. Guys, I'm trying to record the podcast. But anyway, uh, it, I thought that the second episode of Saturday Night Live was a funnier episode of Saturday Night Live, but Gail Gadot just, you know, she she sucked, and okay. it's not it, it's it's not her fault. She doesn't speak English as her first language. She is from another country. And English is, isn't her first language. And so she had a hard time. You know, she had a hard time with the skits. And she spent, she's just one of those hosts who literally spent 98% of the episode just looking directly at the cue cards and just reading it and having a hard time reading it. And it, it was just, it was difficult. Like, like Nancy Kerrigan level. Really? Okay. I, yeah. Nancy Kerrigan also spent 98% of the episode just looking at a cue card and reading. So it, it, and here's, here's the thing that surprised me. You can really tell that English is not her first language and that she wasn't born in America because every time she mentioned the musical guest for that week, it looked like it hurt her to say the name. Yeah. Okay. And it was regular old name, a regular American name, a good down home American name, but she's not from America, and it just hurt her. It looked like it physically hurt her. Like <laughs> what it was the name? Really pain her this name. So she's there. Stick around. We have a good show. Sam Smith is here. <laughs> so stick around. We'll be right back. And then you you know it, 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 you get to the first musical number. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Smith. <laughs> like it hurt her. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like you're gonna pull a muscle saying that name, Gail Gadot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, like like tone it down a little bit. Once again, Sam Smith. <laughs> so that was hilarious. That really that 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 cheered me up. That's good. To see. To see Wonder Woman in pain. <laughs> that was nice. 